everybody and welcome to another episode of my 100 baby challenge in The Sims 4. So today I am actually, I don't know what I am, but the weather is terrible today. We're having a gigantic storm here in Melbourne. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's trees all over the road. There's bins that have been tossed down the street. It's crazy. But none of that matters because, I mean, unless the power goes out again, <laughs> I really hope the power doesn't go out again. But until that happens, we're just going to go ahead and play some Sims 4 today. So we're back with the 100 baby challenge. We have Venus here who is supposedly about to sit on the computer to play Sims forever. Cool beans, little missy. The butler is in bed. We have Irina who is at school. She had some food with dairy in it and supposedly it was not worth it. Rip to you, my little love. Jasper is also in Betty Buys. Now I wonder... Oh, his motives are all actually pretty, pretty good at the moment. So I wonder if we could actually get him up and start doing some, uh, some skills and such. So if we could actually get him to get up and just do a little bit of communication to get that up to level three, that would be fantabulous. But also just before we actually fully, fully get into the episode for today, I do just have to actually go ahead and do today's shout out. So we're actually attached to the PC today because I'm using my phone as a modem, router, whatever you want to call it. I'm using my phone internet for the computer because the internet at home is like really not working. It's honestly like dying up it's actually ridiculous so anyway the shout out today goes to senseless dreamer who commented on the very last 100 baby challenge video and they've said what about kaya knight for a k gemstone have a great weekend thank you so much i love that idea for a gemstone name so if we actually have a kid in today's episode i do actually wonder oh actually we might have the baby today oh how fun so i wonder what name realistically we can use because i don't really think that wow oh my goodness that was loud i don't know if that was a car or thunder but either way i don't realistically know exactly what we could call a baby like to do with crystals and gemstones without actually physically calling the baby crystal with a k but I don't know. I guess we shall see. Again, thank you so much for your comment. And guys, if you'd like to have the chance at being in one of these shout outs, just go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And I choose these at random. So please don't think that I'm ignoring your comments whatsoever. And so now without further ado, let's just get straight on into today's video. So I am going to get Jasper up and have him working on what he needs to work on. He wants to do a few things. So we will have him do that actually. Let's actually see if Venus, okay, you know what? Until he gets his thingy, to, his communication rather, to level three, we will actually just have Venus doing her own thing. And what we can do is once she's done with that, we'll have her come down here and do some thinking skill with Jasper down here. I think that would be really good for them to have a little bit of mother-child time together. I really feel like we don't really use the upstairs of this house very, very much. Kind of makes me a little bit sad to be completely honest with y'all. Let's go ahead and see what, ah, what is in the mailbox. Oh, is it nothing? Okay, cool. Cool beans. Actually, no, we do need to get some mail, but I just don't know what's in the mail is the thing. Oh my goodness, I was like, what? Zane died? But we, oh my gosh, he died so long ago. Literally, Venus woohooed him to death. So that was terrible, but we do also have to bring him back. Now, I don't know if we should try to bring him back legitimately through the game, or if once Venus is done having bubblas, we just actually go ahead and do a little bit of resurrection like this. How do we maintain Sim? I can actually like quite literally revive him just like that. So let me know what you guys think, if we should revive him with cheats or if we should actually try to create ambrosia or some crap, I don't know. Let me know what you'll think and we'll figure it out from there. Oh my gosh, look at all our ex baby daddies that have all just passed on. So sad, so sad, there's a couple more. So sad. And oh my gosh, that was one of our brothers. And that's another one of our brothers. That's one of our children, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's one of Venus's children. That was Venus's first child. So many memories. Where's Jasper? What's wrong, sweetie? Are you crying? Oh my sweetheart, what's wrong? Okay, babes, let's have you come over here and let's teach some shaby shape olders to little Mr. Jasper over here. Now Jasper, my sweet love, you didn't quite get your communication up, but if Mumsy has a conversation with you right now, then maybe 
I have no idea who that is. Maybe you'll uh, you'll get your communication right on up there where it needs to be at. Come on, rise, raise that communication level, my lovey. Let's confess the mistake. Oh my goodness. Oh no, she's so angry. She's so angry. Oh my goodness. She also needs to get a skill up. Oh, okay, that's all right. That's perfectly fine. Irina literally just aged up into a child. So it's all good, my loves. It's all good. Now, really? Aren't you supposed to be teaching shapes to Mr. Jasper down here? Oh, my lanta. Okay, then if you really want to... No, you're not going to have a drink. Oh, we could get you to cook. Uh, yeah, let's have you cook, actually. Let's go. And what the heck you do? Wow. That lag, though, my loves. That lag. Let's make some roast tofu chicken. Is this, like, lactose-free? Because kind of need it to be. Let's hope so. Why is there only single size or family size? We can make a large size, like a party size. Why can't you make a party size of this? What on earth? What the heck? Is that supposed to be like that? Because... I have a feeling that's not supposed to be like that. Let's make some tuna casserole. Let me know if you guys like tuna or not, because honestly, I tried it when I was a kid and I thought it was nasty and I'm actually vegetarian, so I won't eat it now, obviously. And honestly, like just the stench of tuna is enough to curl my stomach. I don't even like feed it to my cats because that's how actually disgusting it is. <laughs> To me, anyway, like if you guys like tuna, then that's absolutely fine. You know, I do not judge what other people eat. Look at her little belly. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. Sweetie, how about you just go ahead and grab a serving of, what did we make? Tuna casserole. Just make a serving, sweetheart. And then Venus, you're hungry. So why didn't you grab a serving automatically? And then go use the dunny. And once you've grabbed that food, oh my gosh, sweetie. Ew, stinky, stinky, stinky child, yuckies. Can you please grab the food? Seriously, I want to put it away. Oh, are you not hungry? Like, I mean, just eat it anyway. I don't care. Oh, I mean, yeah, he did need to use the toilet. So he's obviously just gone in his pants. Nicey. So, oh, that kind of sucks. So once you're done with that, what I need you to do is change his diaper because it stinks. Ooh, lovely. Is that, no, that's not this. It was a cross stitch. The blue one, is that the blue one? Oh, yes, indeedy. 456, that's so amazing. <gasps> Jasper, yes, honey, well done. See in school, that's amazing. Um, no, thank you, Faye. Sorry, but we're uh, constantly busy, so we can't hang out tonight. Oh, no, honey, bunny, you also need to go to the toilet. I might actually have you go to the toilet first and grab yourself some food first. And then after all of that, you can do your homework, my lovey. And hopefully you get your skills up while you're doing that. And then after you've done all of that, my darling, you can actually, whoopsie doopsie, not, ah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we have got a, <gasps> I shouldn't have done that because we don't really have the money to do that. Oh, well, it's happened now. The recycling thing was uh, burnt to a crispy crispola, so yeesh, rip. That's right. So I wanted you to come and potty train Jasper just a wee wee bit. Just just a wee wee bit, if you wouldn't mind. And cool, Zachary Lewis just aged up into an adult. That is amazing. Their household is so small. We literally have Venus and two children in the house right now. And then the baby that is currently growing, cooking in her little oven. Oh boy. I don't think that the house has been this empty in quite some time. It's very strange. Very, very strange indeed. Alrighty, lovey. So you're teaching Mr. Jasper some potty training skills. And how are we doing over here? Let's just kind of watch his skills go up here for a little while. Hey, buddy, got a minute? Uh, no, thanks. Go away. Leave me alone. Venus can now take family leave. That means uh, under what conditions? Sweet, we just got 2,000. Nice, so good. Now, as I was saying, she's just gone into her third trimester. So I wanted to go ahead and have a look at her belly. Oh, look at her belly. It's so pointy. Normally it's all like nice and round but kind of looks a little bit egg-shaped. She's sitting high. Does that mean it's a girl? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Those are just old wives' tales. They're not actually true. But anyhow, she is going to be having her child in 24 hours. So at about 5 p.m. 
on Saturday, which is just fine with me. Sweetheart, did you do your homework? No, you did not. So can you please actually do that? Because I did ask you to. Oh, my poor honey. She's still having some indigestion, some digestive issues. My poor sweetheart. Can't believe, can't believe that we made her eat some food with uh, lactose in it. That just sucks. Oh, wowzers. Okay, that's a lot of stuff that we can actually sell. Oh my goodness, yes. And all them and them. Yep, let's just get rid of it all. Uh, sorry, Clover, sweetie. We don't want to talk right now. We kind of can't. Don't worry. I'm not just getting rid of their toys. They have plenty of toys. And if they wish to play with them, that's completely on them. But all of these toys, including this random uh, pet toy, it can all just get thrown out. 13,415. Are you kidding me? Now my nose is really itchy. Oh my golly gracious me. Oh my gosh, that is Sealy Booth. We do not need those. Holy moly. Get rid of them. Speaking of Sealy Booth, let's go down here and take a little look-see at the Wall of Abebedardais. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Thomas Watson and Sealy Booth both have the same background because they tried for a baby in the shower and obviously like the shower curtain's pink. So it almost, uh, and also like it's the same pose as well. So it's like, honestly, almost like it's the same picture, except that's clearly Thomas Watson and that's clearly Sealy Booth from Bones. Now we also need to add some more characters. For instance, I wanted to add Dexter Morgan, obviously from the TV show Dexter and also, Oh, I wrote it down. Where did I write it down? I've been watching. What have I been watching? I'm not going to add the Seinfeld characters, I don't think. But I've also been watching. What on earth? Where did I write them down? Oh, never mind. It's down here. So Dexter, Seinfeld, and you. Oh my gosh. We could totally add Joe Green Greenberg, Goldberg, 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 Joe Goldberg <laughs> uh, into the show so that we can have some babies with the creepy guy who murders everyone that gets in his way <laughs> love it we'll totally do that and dexter clearly i watch a lot of uh kind of crazy tv shows with a lot of death and murder and all that kind of fun stuff <laughs> i uh was too busy gas bagging to realize that jasper actually reached potty level two i honestly probably just like clicked out of it without even reading what the notification said because i do tend to do that also, I'm going to clear out the wall posts and just quickly save my game because it has been crashing like crazy recently. It's been absolutely ridiculous. In fact, the game crashed three times just trying to open today. So fourth time lucky, but I mean, we're saved for now. So hopefully we have not lost any progress thus far. And as long as the, the weather, oh my gosh, as long as the power does not go out, we won't lose our recording. So fingers and toes crossed, my loves. Okay, so you're just, I mean, yeah, it's, it's much better to have the mother actually teach the child to potty because then their skills go up quicker. Also, I'm pretty sure I told you to bathe him. So why haven't you done that? But I guess it doesn't really matter. You can just go ahead and go straight to sleep. Let's just walk you away. You need to go to sleep as well. Like you're ridiculously tired. What's Irina doing? nothing in particular how about you sweetie come over here go to the toilet just really really quickly and i mean you can garden technically oh no maybe can you not do it uh with the wall planter things that's weird what about over here all you can do is talk about dirt or uproot the plant what on earth she doesn't have enough oh mental skill okay so they need mental skill that is perfectly fine. Oh, actually, we could have you come out here. Oh, wait, that's not going to help your mental, is it? Can we actually have you play chess on the computer? I'm... Um, hmm. Oh, maybe that only works for adults. I'm fairly certain... Oh, do you know what? Actually, no, it's probably not in this mods folder. So I'm fairly certain that I have a mod that actually allows you to use the computer to play chess. And it helps your logic skill. Just like how in The Sims 3, you could play chess on the computer, you didn't actually have to purchase a chess table. <laughs> oh, I was also thinking that like, we literally do not use this skill building room or this little office here. So I thought it would be a good idea actually to turn one of them into a home gym 
so then we can get people's fitness skill and stuff like that because then that's just another skill that we can actually work on but for real rather than having them work on their fitness skill on the basketball hoop with that glitch so i just thought that that was a good idea why did you even get out of bed like are you stupid woman do you know what i'm gonna do it because like we honestly do not use this section like this room at all no one like it's the homework room but no one does their homework in there so i was kind of thinking that maybe we should just maybe change this into like a little homework section instead of it being a dining table we'll just put some of these little desks downstairs in like a little formation down here oh i just whistled a little bit and then there is quite obviously the computer just here so it doesn't really matter about the computer upstairs actually yeah, i might do that and then i'll speed through until it's actually the morning and then we'll be right back so venus is awake and she is going to the toilet cool beans oh my gosh look at her bladder holy moly okay well after she's done there there's actually some food here that is not spoiled so we'll go ahead and we'll eat the faux mash uh faux meat and mash sorry oh no i didn't relocate that decoration that is no bueno we need to fix that whoopsie doopsie wrong thing oh my golly gracious yes sweet so obviously as you can see here i have just relocated some of the desks also i need to fix this just ever so slightly because it was just a little bit off and i am a perfectionist with some things and uh, the placement of objects is one of those things so i got rid of the little buffet and hush that was here we brought down our decorations which as you may recall, were made by the very first generation, so Charlotte Vitor. Although I don't think her last name was Vitor back then, but anyway. And then this one was Bliss. Oh my goodness, she was like the uh, she was part of the second lot of twins that Stella had on my whole heart. Jade Shin and Ali McCartney. McCartney was definitely not her last name back then. Who was her dad? It was Victor. Victor someone or other. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Obviously, the, it has like updated to what their names are now. What else did we do? I also, I mean, once we have babies, we have to move where they get placed. But for now, I, uh, I actually moved all of this kind of around a little bit. So we have two cribs there just in case we do have twins because we have had twins one time with Venus so far, but you never know with how empty the house is and everything like that. So all of that's a little bit different. We moved this around a little bit. We put a wellness mat down for her, uh, got rid of her little treadmill, put it up in the home gym, and then just kind of moved all these little bits and bobs around. And then upstairs, we now have a home gym. So I put the classic window windows. Oh my gosh, what are they called? The mirrors up against the wall, little TV, an extra treadmill. Also, we had a we had a stack of 30 of those plates from parenthood so i sold those and we just got like a ton of money for it so that's why we have all of this money and why we were able to afford a second treadmill and a whole uh little like little home gym sort of situation setup thing and the extra tv and all that kind of good stuff so that is all of that done and dusted so i've got irena uh what's it called queued up to assist with this project once she wakes up in the morning oh we've got our little dust machine working away down there are you actually full do you need to be like emptied oh you do okay so you need to be emptied venus i don't know why you didn't eat first before you went and emptied the thing but okay then can you even do it while it's running or do you have to wait i'm assuming you have to wait so just go back down and eat silly girl go ahead and do that oh riley spirit's feeding away holy moly Go downstairs, eat your food, go to the toilet. Not much longer until you actually have the baby anyway. Oh, do we actually have a baby daddy lined up to be the next father? I'm, I'm not sure. I thought that was someone different, but that is one of our children, Galileo. Seely, oh no, we have to ask you to just be friends. Who's Abby and why do you have romance with her? Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Who is Vivek? I honestly do not even recall ever knowing you. So I'm just really quickly popping Dexter Morgan with his sister and his son into the world. And then I'll also go through and uh, find Joe Goldberg as well. Okay, so this Joe actually looks really good. 
I'm going to go ahead and pop him down now. Alrighty, so we're back in game now. So what are you doing, sweetheart? Oh yeah, that's right. So you're working on that. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh, Willow has not been part of our household for so long. Look at her over there with her cute blue skin. I actually thought she was freezing to death for a moment. I totally forgot that she actually just has blue skin. I kind of just want to like speed through this day though so that we can get to the baby coming. Actually, I think I might do that. If anything interesting happens, I'll start recording again. But until then, we shall be right back. So just quickly, I've just... Uh, I've just invited Joe Goldberg over and we've just given him an enchanting introduction <laughs> and then let's go over to excuse me oh because she's sad let's go and give Dexter Morgan a cheerful introduction anyway I just wanted them to be in our panel so that we could just invite them over when needed look at this guy it's so creepy how much he looks like Penn Badgley we've gone into labor we have gone into labor so I am, I mean, because the whole birth certificate situation is busted, I'm going to, what is, hang on, let me just check what this is. Oh, so cute. So because the whole system is busted and I could not be bothered actually going through any more loading screens, I'm just going to have her go to have the baby at the hospital, but we're not going to go with her. So she's just going to go all by her lonesome and then we just get to name the baby from our, uh, from the comfort of our own home. Oh boy, let's just start into daycare because we cannot hire a nanny. Wow, that was quick. She had a coil. So the last name is Booth because Sealy Booth. And I actually was thinking that Crystal with a K is a really good one. It's like a little bit on the nose, but I like it. I really do like it indeed. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so we had twins. Okay, so what was that other name that was suggested? Kyanite or... Yeah, here we go. Oh my goodness, please only be twins. Please only be twins. Please just only be twins. Thank goodness and my buttons are not working. Why? Uh, hang on, wait. Who have we had so far? So Irina was a space baby name. Jasper, Crystal and Kaya. Kaya. So that's only three crystal baby names. So we just need two more crystal baby names. So J, K, L and M. Unless we have twins again. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see. And then you guys need to like give me suggestions for the next set of baby names. Uh, the next theme of baby names. Also my babies are all over the place. Let me just go in and fix that really quickly because you can't move these uh, baby markers unless there's actually a baby attached to the marker no ho, ho, they're in the wrong order i don't know why but i need them to like go from left to right of like birth order and right now they look identical <laughs> but i'm really interested to see what they actually are going to look like when they get older any hoot let's actually get back to the uh making of a baby show let's just get mr joe goldberg over as quickly as humanly possible oh no we have to also super efficient baby care the little babbly roos. We need to put some onesies on them, but that can uh, that can wait. That can happen in a second. That's really loud screaming. Willow is calling. Crystal is hungry. Kyanite is hungry. Come on, Joe, get your little buttocks over here. Let's do the deed and have a babbly roo. Let's just really quickly go to. Oh wait, we have to uh, we have to romance him first. Silly me, silly silly me. Oh no, the babies are still crying. That is just no good. Can we just invite you in and romance you up just a wee bit? Oh, why? Why, sweetheart? Why? What's wrong? Oh no, let's uh, let's bounce. I don't know. What are you doing, sweetie? Oh my goodness. Okay, she just glitched back over to Joe. So, oh, whoa. Okay, she just went back to the babies. Just give me a sec. I'm going to pause, get the baby situated, get these two into a little bit of a love and then... I shall, oh good, beguile. We shall be back once they're actually able to try for a baby. Okay, she's finally taking care of the baby. That was, uh, that was hard. That was a process. Look at this handsome man. I don't know how you got him to look so accurate, but wowzers. Wow, wow, wow. So after she's done with that, oh yes, first kiss. Oh boy, you know what, replace. I don't care. We don't have any teenagers to do any, uh, any repairing so it's just it's just whatever at this point joe stop leaving okay fantastic and we get a kiss with mr joe goldberg let's get a little screenshot in there really really quickly let's give him another little kiss a pickup line 
we're really really tired but we kind of need to be not tired because i'd really like to have a little babbly room with you compliment your stunning appearance oopsie not mischief can we also attempt to seduce him also i keep clicking on mischief embrace just do everything we can do to get this man to want to create a little babbly roo with us and there we go try for a babbly roo in the shower just because i have her bedroom door locked so that no one can come in here so that's why i never just do a, a regular try for baby so she can actually finally super efficient baby care for kaya so hopefully once she's done up there she'll come down here and take care of the baby also we should oh yeah actually let's just check if she's pregnant she's pregnant perfect okay so she's gonna come down take care of the baby let's just really quickly check on jasper oh my gosh look at how good he's doing okay so what i'm actually going to do now is i am going to stop the recording just here and i am going to go ahead and end the episode off i'm going to play through the rest of the weekend off camera working on skills for jasper i'm fairly certain that irena is all good to go and then also that will speed through a little bit more of Venus's pregnancy. So within that time, I'll also get a photo with Joe Goldberg and then we'll pop him up on the baby daddy wall. I shall put onesies on the infants and then uh, once we come back for the next episode, we shall be good to go. So you guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. If you're enjoying the series in general, I do hope that you will consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. And my computer is overloading. The encoding is overloaded. That's just great. So this is gonna be really laggy and bad, but Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video in particular, I do encourage you to go ahead and click the like button as that really does help me out. And let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very, very much for watching and until next time, bye bye